Okay, so now we're going to discuss the four performance categories that are measured in MIPS. So we're going to have our regular quality measures, which in 2017 are going to be worth 60% of your total MIPS score. Then we're going to have our cost category, which in 2017 does not have any weight, but in 2018 will actually be worth 10% of your total MIPS score. Then we have advancing care information, which is going to be 25% of your MIPS score in 2017. And then we have improvement activities. Improvement activities is going to be 15% of your MIPS score in 2017. So let's jump in a little deeper to see what these performance categories are. So quality measures are going to be six measures that you have to select and report on um, and they're specialty specific which means that an internal medicine physician isn't going to have to report on the same measures as a cardiologist. Um, so when you go to the CMS website, again it's www.qpp.cms.gov, you're going to click on MIPS and on the quality measures tab and you're going to be able to select your specialty and it's going to pull up all of the measures that apply to you. So then you're going to pick six of them that actually make sense to your practice and that you know that you can meet and those are the six that you're going to be working on. If you can meet more, then by all means go ahead and do it because it can only bring your MIPS score higher. So for the cost category, which again does not have any weight in 2017 but will have 10% of your MIPS score weight in 28, here we're looking at your resource utilization. So you are going to be compared to other clinicians that are facing the same complex patients or the same. So here they're going to be looking at your resource utilization and the cost associated with your care as compared to the cost associated with the care of similar clinicians treating similar patients or care episodes. And you're not going to have to report any data for cost. It's going to be taken automatically from your Medicare claims data. So it's not something that you're going to need to report manually, but it is something that's going to be evaluated. Then we have our advancing care information category. Advancing care information is going to be replacing meaningful use um, and it's actually going to have a lot of the same measures which we have already become familiar with. So these measures are going to include e-prescribing, medication reconciliation, um, sending secure messages, and others. Main difference between the advancing care information category in MIPS and meaningful use is is the way that it's scored. So in meaningful use, we had the all or nothing type of reporting. So this means that if we don't meet the thresholds for every single measure, we're not going to receive the incentive for that year. In MIPS, the ACI category is going to be scored just like the rest of the categories, so there's not going to be a threshold that you have to meet. It's going to be just the score, just like the rest of your scores, which is going to be put together to create one MIPS score. And advancing care information, again, is going to be worth 25% of your total score in 2017. So the next category that we have is improvement activities. This category is going to give you over 90 different improvement activities that you can choose from and you're basically going to be looking at which ones make most sense for your practice. So the main goal of the improvement activities category is to push continuous improvement in practices for them to work as hard as they can to keep trying new things in order to provide better care to their patients. So some improvement activities that are part of the list include opening longer hours in order to provide better patient access to your care, um, or engaging patients' family, their relatives. Um, you can administer patient satisfaction surveys to see what your patients um, feel about how your employees are treating them or how they perceive your practice or what you can do better. Um, so obtaining feedback is definitely one of these activities that are going to help you decide what can make your practice run better. How can you address the issues that your patients are having or that they're bringing to you? How can you make things better? So that's really what the improvement activities category is. In 2017, this is worth 15% of your total MIPS score.